Hello, welcome to another exciting week of Jenks and Degenerates. Let's get it going, baby. We had a good week here. We got a lot of people at the bottom of the table. Half the league has the same record. That's gonna blow your fucking mind. Week six brought a ton, a ton of close matchups, most of which came down in the Monday night game. I know, pretty big shit. In the first matchup of the week, we saw a good one between Niners Revenge Tour and Vanilla Fosties. Seemed early that Vanilla Fosties had this game sealed up tight and match, but a 60 yard run with one minute left in the fourth quarter from Kenyon Drake proved to be the vital nail in the coffin for Vanilla Fosties. Devin gets out of the last place in the league and moves up. Let's find out what's going on next. In the second game of the week, we had In My Pocket Like Burrow going up against... What is that bitch's name? Who's the loser? Who's the loser that lost this week? That's right, thank you. In My Pocket Like Burrow went up against God Win Me A Trophy. God Win Me A Trophy came into this game with a 70% chance to win the game. Off a of poor performance from all of this team, In My Pocket Like Burrow had a couple. But it was Clyde Edwards Hilaire who would get that dub for him on a poor showing from Tyree Kill and a great one from Clyde. So Clyde, we're looking at you. In probably the most exciting game of the week, give or take, there was some collusion going into this one. Okay. Moose Knuckles had traded Niners Revenge Tour, Kenyon Drake. For Aaron Rodgers. And at first we thought, hmm, that's kind of colluding. That's not, how to, how's that gonna work? Fuck that. We don't like that. How's that gonna work? And then this motherfucker Aaron Rodgers drops four fucking points. Aaron Rodgers, four points. Can you believe that? After that, there was no way Lewis Knuckles was getting this win. But skin of his fucking teeth and a 50 point showing from freaking Derrick Henry will prove you motherfuckers wrong. He went on and got the dub by two points, knocking down. Outside Ertz for the third week in a row. In another great matchup this week, we had Cody's expensive DUI edging out Tony Montana by two points as well. Now that's just absolutely insane. What a great game that was. Tony Montana goes to the last place in the league. We love to see it. Everybody loves to see that. Um, can't really complain with this right now. The league is great. Everything's going good. Um, and in the last note, probably the least surprising note, Tams remained undefeated. Uh, it was a close one. He did only win by three points, beating out a rising star team in Witty. Uh, what can I say? This has probably been the best week of fantasy football. Tons of COVID shit, tons of injury, first actual week with people on buys, and it proved a huge fatal blow for some. Some people played the wire, the, the waiver wires great, some people didn't. And you know, that's just what happens with shit. So, yeah, but guess what? Four out of the five games this week, four out of the five games were decided by less than four points. The only one that got blown out, well, you probably already know, is uh, God winning me a trophy. Motherfucker got stomped by in my pocket like Burrow. This boy right here. So, yeah, it looks like that's what we got going on today. Uh, let's see. Not seeing anything great. We do have a matchup tonight for Thursday Night Football. Be prepared, get your lineup straight. It is a crazy week. So what will happen in week seven of football? Will Tams remain dominant? Can Dev bounce back and continue this winning streak? Is in my pocket like Burrow coming for Tams? Plays in this week. I'm sure we'll find out. Can God win me a trophy do anything? He's been underperforming these last couple weeks. Same with Outset Earth. They started off on a heater, now they're down three games. I don't know how, how he's going to bounce back from that. Either one of them. Uh, Vanilla Fosties and him and Tony Montana, man, looking like the uh, worst teams in the league this year. It's pretty upsetting, but uh, newcomers and Raiders fans, you know? You can't. What you going to do? What you going to do? They're losers. Um, yeah. This is Peter Knudsen signing off. You're Godspeed. Good luck.